So in English, we sometimes say that life has its ups and downs. Uh, so sometimes in life, things go really, really well. Um, and something like getting a new job or getting a raise at work, uh, maybe you have met someone new, maybe you are dating someone new, uh, maybe you're getting married. We would say that those are all the really cool parts of life. And when we talk about ups and downs, those would definitely be the ups. Um, but sometimes you have downs in life. Sometimes things don't go well. Uh, sometimes you have situations where you lose your job. Um, maybe because of COVID-19, you've lost your job. Um, I don't know what your life is like right now, um, but certainly sometimes things in life go really well and sometimes they don't go well. Now we don't usually use these separately. We usually just talk about ups and downs together. We usually say things like life has its ups and downs. Um, we don't usually refer to something as an up or to something as a down. We usually use this phrase together. If you want though to talk about highs and lows, we do talk about these separately. Highs and lows in life are exactly the same thing. Uh, sometimes you have things in life that go really, really well, and we would call those highs. And sometimes we have things in life that don't go well, and we would call those lows. Um, so you can definitely say that when you went on a trip, there were lots of highs on the trip. Um, sometimes you can say that there was a part in your life where there were just a lot of lows. So to re refresh, uh, life has its ups and downs. That means it has its good moments and its bad moments and life also has its highs and lows which are the same thing good times and bad times anyways i hope you enjoyed this short english lesson bob the canadian here and you're learning english with me hope you're having a good day and i'll see you on thursday with a new video